Hello guys, thank you for clicking to watch this video. My name is Angela Delanoa and today I have a part two of my nude lipstick collection. So I uploaded part one of my nude lipstick collection but that was for MAC only lipsticks but today I'm going to be showing you different brands, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip stains. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you haven't seen my part one definitely check it out and check out my blush collection and my eyeshadow palette collection because people seem to love the collection videos so and i love showing them so i thought you know let's make this a regular thing let's make it a party but thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video so hey guys i hope you don't mind that i'm doing a voiceover i'm starting off by revlon's mink this is a great lipstick to have it just glides on it's easy it suits anybody of different shades i also lined it with nyx coco and i think this lip liner honestly is a great pairing for this lipstick to be honest the lip liner is great for any lipstick What do you guys think about this lipstick? I personally think it's one of those lipsticks that I love having in my collection because it literally goes with anything and it's not offensive. Second one. The next lipstick is Beeper by Colourpop. Who was a fan of Colourpop back in the day when they first came out? I know I bought at least 10 to 15 lip stains but beeper is one of those ones that just stayed in my collection when it finished i had to rebuy it it's a perfect 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 pinkish nude for my skin tone for lighter than me for darker than me i think you'd love this lip stain i paired it again with nyx's coco and i love the way it looks together but what do you guys think let me know let me know So just taking off that lip color, preparing it for the next lipstick that I'm going to wear. A dose of colors. I love this color. It's called Cork, I believe, but I'll put all the names in the description. I line it with this brown lip liner. This is just a random lip liner from the black hair shop. I love this lip color on me. Love. As I exclaimed, I obviously love this lip color on me. I think it just is that nude that is just that bad bitch nude. It's just, it's just, it's just stunning. I'm just gonna add a bit of lip gloss because I think this combination would be beautiful if I was glossy. Obviously guys, you can tell that this combination is one of my favorite combinations. I'm feeling this combination. This one. I'm feeling this one. Nah, it's, dope. it's dope now. Mm. It's dope. I'm ready to go out. Okay, so next I am going in with this color from Revolution. It is called Capricorn, which is my star sign. Hey, are there any Capricorns in the house? But anyway, this color, I just think it's a really gorgeous nude that works for me. And then next we're going in with Max Spite Lip Glass. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful everyday nude. Works on any skin tone. If you're thinking about getting this lip gloss, just get it. Don't even think too much, just get it. I think this is my favorite. I know I say everything's my favorite, but if we're talking about nude lip gloss, like one item to use by itself and you're good to leave the house. You don't need to line your lip. You don't need no toppers. Max Spite is the best lip gloss. Pigmented, glossy, not too heavy on the lips. I think I just love that I don't need to line it. I can just pop it on, leave the house, and I'm good to go. Period. Period. So thank you, Mac Cosmetics, for making the 
this nude lip gloss. This one I'm quite excited because it's a Nigerian brand. And then now we're going in with Teos BT lip gloss in the color. I think this color actually doesn't have a name, just has a number. It's called number one. This lip gloss is beautiful. Next, we're going in with one of my favorite lip glosses from MAC, which is probably sold out now. It's from the MAC Sharon Osborne collection, and it's called Bijou, and it's just a beautiful pink, pink, pinkish nude. My lips are burning, and I'm taking off my but if you're watching this, I hope you're enjoying this video. And if you are, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you. <laughs> and then now we're going in with NYX's Pre Line. It's one of those lip glosses where you don't need a lip liner. And it definitely, if you're thinking, would this look good on me? I promise you, it will look good on you. You would not regret it. Another lip gloss that you don't have to wear a lip liner, I love. Next pre line, and then next up, we have this lip gloss from Revolution. This is a good gloss, I never wear it. I think this is actually my first time wearing it. It's from Makeup Tammy's collection with Revolution. It smells very nice, I like it, guys. This one is a bit controversial, but I do love Kylie Cosmetic. How do you say it's a Dolce? Yeah. Dolce, Dolce. And then next, we're going in with another lip gloss from Revolution, also from Tammy's collection. I actually never reached for this, but it's actually quite nice, don't you think? Another lip gloss that doesn't need a liner. This is also from Tammy's collection of Revolution and it's called Gone Rouge. I like this color. It's calm. It's, it's, it's pulling my whole face together in a very calm manner. So I think that's the beauty of nude lipsticks. Like, no matter how dramatic your eye is or your blush or your highlights, if you add a nude lipstick, it's just like, and exhale and breathe. It just, you know, calms things down. Really like the way it feels on my lips as well. Doesn't feel heavy at all and it smells good. So you know, like the nose is right here, the lips are here. Inhaling that and taking in positive, good vibes, everything that you need in this 2021. Next, we have Nyx's Cinnamon Roll. What do we think? I never, ever, ever reach for this because I think sometimes it looks a bit grey, but it's actually alright, it's alright. I think it's better in real life than on camera. This is NYX Cinnamon Roll. And we're on to my last color. If you watch this so far up to here, definitely like this video, definitely subscribe to my channel. I know you're enjoying it. This is Colourpop's Teeny Tiny. Some may say it's pink, some may say it's nude, some may say it's pinkish nude. So what do you think? These Colourpop lip stains are a mission to get off. Okay, so this nude lipstick is refusing to come off. That's the thing about Colourpop lip stains. They stain your lips, which is good. It, it, it's, it's, it's what we need this year right since we're always wearing masks this stays in place so that's you know that's that's a plus for this pandemic but yeah i think i'm gonna end my video there my nude lipstick collection swatches i hope you liked it i hope you saw something here that you liked i hope this was helpful for anyone who wants to expand their nude lipstick collection and thank you for watching make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you check out all my other videos and I'll see you in the next one for sure. Thank you so much, guys.